Hi, I'm Kevin Resnick. I work with Spaceman USA. Thank you for purchasing one of our machines. Today I'm going to show you about the buttons. We're going to take some product out and we're going to clean it out and we're going to put product back in. The first one is going to be your power button. This is going to give power to your display. Second button is going to be your freeze button. This will freeze product throughout the day. The next one is your wash, which was going to beat the product and just spin the augers. Then you have sleep mode, which you'll use through the night. Reset or the stop button, your ice cream button, which is going to show your dispenses in the day, and P, which is used for various purposes. But the first time that you press P, it's going to give you the temperatures on the hoppers and the cylinders. And when the motor is running, it will give you the current of the motor. We have product that's been made in this machine right now. We're going to start by flushing it out and getting ready to pull off the discharge door. The first thing that we want to do is remove the hopper covers and the air tubes. And we'll take these to the sink. We're going to pour a little bit of water in the hoppers, about a gallon in each side, and we're going to flush out the product that's remaining in the machine. Press wash on the front, and that's going to agitate the mix. We'll use our brush, and we'll just scrub along the sides and break free any debris. We've had it on wash now for approximately a minute. We're going to pull down the handles and remove the product. Once you've removed all the mix, we want to press the reset button, which is going to stop the beaters from spinning. And then we'll do a second rinse just to make sure that we get everything as clean as we can. Now you're ready to disassemble the discharge door. The next thing we're going to do is remove the hand screws. A little bit of water will come out the bottom. Make sure that you're holding a towel. Our hand screws will go to the sink for washing. Grab both sides of the discharge door and remove evenly. As you remove the auger, prepare to grab the beater blades. Using a towel, grab the rear shell bearing and pull that out and then pull out the ripple seal. We've got all of our pieces removed and set out for further disassembly and then we will take them and wash them. This tool is the easiest way to get these O-rings off. Unscrew the retention nut and pull out the retention pin and remove the handles. Flip the discharge door over, move the tabs so that you can grab them and pull off the star caps. Push out the valve bodies, grab your o-ring tool and remove the o-rings. Start with the back. If you remove this one first, this one's just going to fall into that groove. The h-ring goes into the middle piece and stops the two products from mixing. Be careful not to break the h-ring when you pull it off. Remove the metal from the scraper blades. It's important to do this because there will be products stuck in between the scraper blade and the metal clip. Our remaining pieces do not require any disassembly. Our parts are clean and we're ready to lubricate and reassemble our machine. We'll start with our rear shell bearings and their gasket. We need our lube, which is going to be made specifically for yogurt machines. You want to get it on the shaft but not on the key. That will make it very hard to disassemble later on. Inside the gasket, we want a very good amount of lubrication. It's going to snap into place, and we're ready to install these into the machine. When you get them back there, you want to make sure the key lines up, and it will click in, and you'll hear it pop, and then you won't be able to turn it. Next is going to be the beaters. We'll take our clip and our scraper blade, put them together, then we want to line up the blade and holding both the blades we'll gently insert the beater and move it around until it goes in. It should never come past the front of the machine. Next part is preparing the discharge door for assembly on the machine. We'll start with our prime plugs. These little prime plug o-rings on here. Lubricate. We're going to install our rear shell bearings. Install our front bearings in our discharge door gasket. The gasket has one side that has ridges on it and another side that's flat. We want the ridges pointing towards the door and the flat side out. We're ready to assemble our discharge door into the machine. These front bearings can be a bit tricky to line up with the beaters. Just go slow. We've got the discharge door on. We're ready to install the hand screws. The longer ones will go on the top. With the door seated on the freezer, install the hand screws, tighten equally in a crisscross pattern to ensure the door is snug. 
slide the two O-rings into the grooves on the draw valves and lubricate. Lubricate the inside of the freezer door spouts, top and bottom, and insert the draw valves from the bottom until the slot in the draw valves comes into view. Install the adjustable draw handles, secure with pivot pin. Snap the star cap over the bottom of each door spout. Lay the air tube in the bottom of the hopper for the sanitizing process. Prepare two gallons of approved sanitizing solution. Pour sanitizing solution into the hoppers and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. Now that we have the sanitizing solution in the hoppers, we want to hit stop and then clean, which is gonna beat the motor and move the sanitizer around. During this time, we'll also use the brush again to get the sanitizer around the top of the hopper. We're gonna let this sit for the time specified on the sanitizer, and then we'll drain it and prepare it to make product. Now that our machine has been sanitized, we're gonna chase out the last of the sanitizer with a little bit of yogurt before we start to prime and produce. We'll remove our air tubes and install the caps. We wanna make sure that we're using the flavor that's gonna be in the hopper, and that's gonna push that sanitizer down and through. Before we go and pull down the handles, we want to make sure that we flip our power switch to the off position. Take a cup and you'll see the sanitizer come out until you get your yogurt. Now that we've chased out our sanitizer, we can turn our power back on. We want to pull up our prime plugs and this is going to make it so that we can fill the chamber up to a certain set point. This will set our overrun. Once we see products start to come out the bottom, we're going to push the prime plug in and install our air tube. Press reset or stop and then freeze. And that's going to start the production of yogurt. Let's put these hopper covers on and serve product. I hope that you found this tutorial on the machine informational. And thank you again for purchasing Spaceman USA.